My questions are intended to help provide important information for the betterment of evacuees who are suffering from acute and chronic health ailments. Obviously, evacuees from Fort McMurray will require health care services in new and different ways. So to the Associate Minister of Health, how can individuals in northern and remote evacuation camps access primary and acute health care services in a manner that best meets their needs? Honourable Associate Minister. Thank you. Uh, we know that these events can have profound and long-lasting consequences for people's physical and mental health. Currently, AHS has teams at reception areas in Fort Mackay, Lac La Biche, Neralta Lodge, Firebag, and at Northlands in Edmonton. EMS staff are working around the clock on these teams, supported by nurses, two physicians, and mental health professionals. We're also grateful for the support and assistance provided by the Treaty 8 Command Centre and Reception Area in Edmonton. There are four AHS staff on site there today. And at Northlands, we have specialized nurses, mental health therapists, a respiratory therapist, home living occupational therapists, and two pharmacists. For supplemental. Thank you, Minister. Given that the treatment of chronic conditions typically relies on prescription medications, and given that many residents may not have their medications with them due to the urgency of the evacuation, can you please tell us what's being done to ensure that these individuals can quickly secure access to the drugs that they need that are vital for their well-being, in fact, without increasing out-of-pocket expenditures at this time? Honourable Associate Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for his question. Certainly, many Albertans who evacuated will not have their prescription medications with them, or they may be running short. We're also aware that some people may not have identification or any means to pay. HS is triaging needs at the northern reception areas and shipping pharmacy out of Edmonton. Medical staff at these sites are assessing patients and administering medication. Where community pharmacies are available, AHS pharmacists are providing bridging prescriptions, and we have two pharmacists on site at Northlands. Any evacuee accessing an AHS pharmacy will not face out-of-pocket expenses for required medications. Second supplement. Given that the demand for health care services could easily increase with the influx of evacuees in, in various parts of the province, can you please tell us what's being done to ensure that all health care facilities are prepared to meet the increasing demand for surgeries, ER beds, dialysis procedures, MRIs, and, and medical equipment such as insulin pumps and blue, blood glucose monitors that evacuees may, may not be able to secure before they fled their homes? Honourable Minister. Thank you. There's no doubt that losing access to a regional hospital and displacing tens of thousands of people is a challenging situation. Every single acute care and continuing care patient from Fort McMurray is in an appropriate facility in the Edmonton zone. Northern Alberta Renal Services has identified 11 dialysis patients from the area, and 10 of them have checked in and been connected with services, and they are following up with family members to connect the remaining patient. We are very fortunate we are not currently facing a situation with a large number of injuries. However, as more people arrive in the Edmonton zone, the demand for health care services will also rise, rise. And the rescheduling of surgeries is an example of how all of our facilities will work to meet the demand.